is DJ Nelly. And I am AM the Outcast. This is the Top 5 Countdown. Where we at, homie? Yo, listen, we are Moonlight KTV, Edmond, Oklahoma. Man, this week we got two number fives. Yeah, Boxer G with Nightmares and Andre Graves with Culture. Go, let's get it. Gotta get ass and act right. Y'all ain't really with the culture. This is Hennessy and Soda. We be poaching all the posers. Let's go. I'm so supernova. Got it tatted on my shoulders. This is leave you on a poster. 40 cow with the holster. You gon' see when I roll up. 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 I'll me no hold up. I don't fuck with no jokers. No breaks on motor. I feed my culture. Chains on me, I'm on lockdown. Foes on me, my head, he dance. Uh. Smoke a blood and I'm blowing on gas. Hey. Think about the first nigga I blasted. Hey. Pull a penny, then bring in a pass shit. Yeah. Damn, miss me, nigga. Tragic. Hey. I'm gonna smoke for any nigga that's asking. Yeah. I can't stay holding, I'm bringing the cask. Yeah. Oh. Round, round, B with a foe, foe. Yeah. Yeah. These niggas lame, the popos. My niggas mob, Alpo. Ryan 400 horses, no polo. Be the bitch nigga up like I'm Tojo. Yeah. Give his girl a slice, Kimbo. Slice. You niggas pop. Pimples, huh. come my bro, he slide in the rento. <laughs> I ain't got no time for you niggas and bitches to really you niggas ain't fucking with me. I put in my work. Yo, yeah, we're back with the countdown and we had two number fives. Who were they? Man, Boxer G and uh, Andre Gray. Yeah, but who's number four? M. Mason with self preservation. Let's go. Who gets your love? That is the new conversation. Yeah. When I'm gone, I know who what's going on. Love? It's looking like black first white, wrong first right, but it's death first life. Did you hear me? It's looking like black first white, wrong first right, but it's death first life. Did you hear me? Put your fear in the feeling, the noose on your neck. Now it's knees on your neck, and you can't take a breath. Worldwide televised that you slip in the death kit. Scream at the screen, what it's seen, what it blessed. And it's all over flesh. My timeline ain't got me depressed, and I'm over recording video. Intervene, interject, and say it. All lives matter, I see the problem with that We don't separate to attack, we say help us keep us be black We're back at Moonlight KTV And that was the number four video from M. Mason, Self-Preservation Yo, listen, number three is Chestnut Checkers, Pick Up Bread Trip, pick up bread I say all about money, that money's what I'm all about And if you're feeling the same, then let me hear you holler out Pick up, pick up Get that bread with that butter, get that cake with that ice, and I don't pop bands and make what's in them, cause everything comes with a price. I bring that thunder with lightning, these verses built for reciting, I ain't your average joke, I gave her spoke, I'm fuck with a tight Bring the king to these peasants by any means for these blessings, you may not like me, may not love me, but I will be respected, since we was children, been wretched, no time for chilling, we desperate, put this power circle in rotation, fuck with a legend, all about the good food, good drink, good day, and fed it, man. Man, rich ruler, doing a fool, pimping stupid with a heavy chain. If she ain't about that fatty man, then bring a daddy back of everything. She probably ain't making the good and won't get a sip from a bug and let him hang. Man, you claiming you hustling, but really we know when you struggling. From the land of the real MCs on me, you need to come fucks with him. The elephant in the room, the heroin in the spoon. Now you can't go without it, and I'm all about it, so get it and give me room. Call my number if you ain't talking about money. Other shit sounding like Charlie Brown, y'all niggas talking funny, but I'm money, all them hunters, stack them tall and get the thumb and been on my shit all summer, you fell off, well that's a bummer, niggas never stopping nothing, niggas always plotting something, but niggas ain't down the box or nothing, got mine in case niggas popping something, really I'm just getting my profits up, run up that dog up, I'ma need my mo, you know that's for sure, so been in my beat so I stick to the M.O., clocking that grill while I'm smoking on endo, twist up kid folk, people hating on me cause they been broke, all eyes on me, my wrist hitting on, look at my fit, yeah this shit real fitting on, stunt everyday, this not just for videos, I don't say much but you know that I'm with it yo, it's a to the bullshit, I pity yo, never stress about that money, I get it, bro. Don't. All about money, that money's what I'm all about. And if you're feeling the same, then let me hear you holler out. Pick up. Yo, that was the number three video, Pick Up Bread by Chestnut Checkers. Coming in with the number two video is K9, Dangerous Love. I 
Feel like a player, I feel like a G. Ever since the young and I've been trying to catch a beat. I check all these hoes, ain't no need for receipt. And I'm on the boat and I drip like a leaf. Dick smoke said he best, mama said I'm a G. And I don't care who around, all my niggas gon' eat. And my office so cold, so you better play a D. I'm playing all these hoes like I play on the Wii. My brother, we get him, we really gon' get him. If you talking down, then my niggas gon' get him. Gon' feel too clean, cause I'm wearing all this denim. Before you talk shit, then you better fix your denim. My brother, we riding, we up in the sky. And I talk my shit, cause they know I'm that guy. I'm going up the hill like I'm Marty McFly. And I talk shit, cause you know I'm that guy. All my niggas with it, and we really had bangers. You talking down, and your name is in danger. Just like a cold rat, we put them on hangers. I talk to Trippy, and he into pangers. Long lives, hey, that's my dog, that's my angel. Come and come and hide me up. Come and hide me up. Please come and hide me up. Oh, shit. Then you better get the angle No shame in this game Yeah, that nigga, he shameless Shameless Yo, that was number one pineapple stroke with the 
Exotic for the second week in the room. We'd like to give a big shout out to Moonlight KTV for allowing us to use your space. Yo, listen, if you want to get in on this countdown, make sure you find us on Facebook and hit us at MyDubOKC. My name is DJ Navi. And I'm Aim the Outcast. This is the Top 5 Countdown. We out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was hot, man. This is the Miked Up Multicast, and I am AM the Outcast. That's crazy, man, because you know my boy usually says all that, right? Right. <laughs> so <laughs> it sounds crazy, man. Let me give a shout out my my uh, DJ Navi. He's out handling some family business. What up with it? Hey, but I got some guests in the room. Uh, I'm going to get to them real quick. Let me shout out uh, Christian. What's up, man? What's happening, though? Hey, man, you doing all right? Man, yeah, I'm doing good. You had a good day? Yeah, I got me a new little dad break, so I've been... Oh, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah, man, we got a guest in the building. Shoot, man, we got my man Ike from Games by Skanes. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> man, well, tell me how you feeling. Oh, man, I'm fine. Fantastic. Yeah, man. So it's a, it's a, it's a little bit different tonight, man, because usually, you know, it's a... Uh, Nav is kind of leading the way. Um, but it's going to be a cannabis corner for all the whole night tonight. So I hope y'all came for the, uh, with some weed and lo- locked and loaded and lit right now. So uh, if you're not, take a moment real quick. Roll you up something, because I did. <laughs> none of that bullshit, <laughs> none of, Yeah, none of that bullshit. And so I'm, my, uh, my man Ike's in the building because, man, he's, he's something like I am. He's a connoisseur of weed. He's a home grower. Uh, man, he thinks in the same, you know, mind frame that I am uh, as being trying to be natural as possible uh, and in the idea of medicine. Uh, so, you know, I brought him in because, you know, I wanted to talk to him about it because, shoot, everybody's always talking to me about my grow. I want to talk to somebody else about their grow, you know, and, you know. So tell me about your growth, man. What you got going on right now? Oh, man, I got some uh, one strain under tuck because it's reserved for somebody who was okay. a guest on your show went last week, so they would have to tune in and yeah. do the okay. research. But, yeah, one of those is reserved for my guy. I got um, a strawberry cough. Oh, yeah? And uh, Plum Delight. And another mystery that I came up with on accident with some, it was crossed with cat piss and marathon. All right, all right, all right, man. So you know, I I've I've come through a few strains myself. You know, what I'm saying some Northern Lights, some uh, Bruce Banner. Um, uh, uh, right now, I got Cream Caramel, some Granddaddy Perp, some Blue Dream. Um, you know, I've been through a few of them, you know what I'm saying? Um, and what I've learned in dealing with the different strains is that uh, they all got a different attitude. Have you been feeling that same situation with your situation? Indeed, man. You know, daytime situation, I got to have a sativa. Right. You know, because I'm up about 4.30 in the morning getting it in with my team. Shout out my team, everybody that's a part of the Gains by Gains family. You know, we up having plant-based therapy. Yeah, I've been right. seeing you. <laughs> I've been seeing you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. But, yeah, um, before we get going, we'll, we'll light up a spliff of some sativa, some maybe some northern lights or some green crack, something that'll get you motivated, something mm. that's going to open up those arteries and gets that, get that good blood flow to go through, you know, so we can really tune in and tap into that mind and muscle connection. That's what's up. So you've been able to incorporate uh, medicine with your everyday workouts with all your with clients? My, with my everyday regimen. Okay. For those, for those who partake, you know, I, I majority have adult clients. So if they're off into cannabis, they have been within it for a couple of years. So the newbie effects like the munchies and things like that really doesn't affect them. Gotcha. <laughs> so it, it's really based on the medical and the medicinal a- aspect of the cannabis plant. So I try to base my strains on the type of day I'm having. Gotcha. That's what's up. Man, <coughs> I mean, I kind of, 
can't move and shake without mine, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. And but I'm a strictly indica guy, so I don't have a. Oh, don't get me yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah, I need I need something that's gonna knock me oh, out, yeah. baby. You know what I'm saying? Oh. That was just <laughs> four thirty in the morning. Something that's gonna get me to about twelve, one o'clock. Because <laughs> I, I intermittent fast, so when it's time to eat, I mm. gotta have something that's gonna you know get me in the kitchen. Nah, I can't right now okay. because mom's watching. Oh, you know, and I got baby girl <laughs> and my son. I got them tuned in, but. You that's what's up. That's what's out up. Out of respect for you, moms, I love you, baby. Uh, shout out to Karen Smith, you know. But uh, I really do. When I go on break, I'm a partake with you. Already, already, man. So um, let's get let's get back into your plants, man. You know, I'm you know I'm a connoisseur, bro. Oh, you know, for I, sure. I love sure. your plants, and I and I got and I actually got a chance to see your plants, Indeed. man. And they look real nice. I see, well, you had one that you were recovering r- r- real quick. What um, Indeed. and Man, we had a conversation about that, right? It was right. about uh, all the, the the issues that you've had going through the growing process. And currently, you've had everything that I... Well, I've had deficiencies and, you know what I'm saying, excess right. issues and as far as, you know, um, nutrients or feedings. Um, but I'm, you know what I'm saying, I've never had any bug or any of those issues. But you've dealt with all those. Everything, it, brother, everything. You know, I didn't had uh, mites, I didn't had thrips, aphids. You know, when you're growing organically, you typically can't use any bottled nutrients. I don't use mm-hmm. anything from a bottle. Everything is from the grocery store or the ground or gotcha. nature itself so to eradicate though and IPM and what we're really talking about is IPM integrated pest management for those who are wondering the type of language we, we're kicking right now yeah so I had a spider mite issue caught it in the beginning went to a local went to a local uh what what do you call it um uh, the, the green? Are you talking about like uh, the a grow store? Yeah, not yeah. a grow. Yeah, it's a grow store. I can't. I really don't want to shout them out right now because they did. They. I yeah, feel yeah. some type of way because they did me dirty. But anyway, yeah, I went. I, I had to go there to get some beneficial uh, insects because you know I, I really don't spray anything, and if I do, it's it's like uh, peppermint oil, la- lavender, mm-hmm. uh, clove, thyme, things of that nature. So. I got me some ladybugs, some uh, some beneficial mites, and some uh, some praying mantis. Gotcha. So these are these are my warriors. Yeah, I I open them up and they, and they they hit the ground running. They yeah, going yeah. hard, you know. So <laughs> it took it took them about two weeks, but now once they once the issue has died down, the the population of the 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 beneficial insects will die off also. So Yeah. And they, then, they need something to eat on. Exactly. Right. Once they don't have anything, what what's left? Starvation, right? Right. So after that, you know, they bounced back and it and it got it got my house smelling right. That's and, what's up. Then, yeah. Cause I I mean I was saying on the on, on last week's show, as a matter of fact, uh it's about how, what what a house fit smells like with fresh weed. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Fresh cannabis, hey, <right? laughs> hey, going through your house, man. Especially like, well, um, man, I love it when I'm, I'm, I'm cutting down. You know what I'm saying? When I'm harvest, whew, it's yeah. like Christmas, baby. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's like Christmas. Oh, yeah. The only thing I, the only thing I really dislike it is, is the trimming. Mm. But I really can't put any machines to my weed. I, I, no, I yeah, just yeah. can't. I gotta yeah, yeah. really get in there and be in tune. You know, from seed to harvest. There's nothing like it from seeing something grow from the ground all the way to when you cut it down. Right. Oh my God. Yeah. Man, so um man, I you know, and the idea of I uh you know, I I really enjoy the whole process, right? Just like you do, just like most people who ever get into this do. Um and if you don't, man, I'm sorry for you, right? You need to find something else to do. Um but uh, I, I sit and talk to my plants. Oh man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, man, hey, my 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 boy, man, he be on me, right? He be like, hey, for real, you be really talking? Yeah, why not? Yeah, hey, what's the laws of nature? Plants give off what? Good energy, and they also give off oxygen, yeah, right? Right. We give off carbon, so once we exhale, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They, they eat inhale. too. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once we're around those plants, we ain't handling nothing but those good vibrations, baby. Already. Already. Yeah, so I sit around and I, I got a little Lexa in my in there and I'll play some jazz or some yeah. classical music. Mm-hmm. Um you know what I'm saying? You do the same situation? I did in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, man, but shoot, I'll be moving around so much. I, I don't really have time. I get in there, feed them, you know, uh, give them a quick shout out. Hey, how y'all doing, ladies? Right. You know, <laughs> I'm really daddy at work. He busy. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing against y'all, but I'll be back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Shoot. I, well, I got a little bit of time on my hands every day that's specific for them. Straight you know up. what I'm saying? So uh, that that's incorporated in my everyday life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so that so it's a part of the routine. Yeah, because um, what what I found out in trying to do the drive by. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't really keep up, and you find yourself behind, and then you find yourself outgrown. You know, like you got a plant that's outgrown you. Straight up. Like I I actually had a plant that outgrew me in my tent, and I didn't pay enough attention to it <laughs> and then I got aggravated with it and so I sold it <laughs> <laughs> so is it really a loss <laughs> nah I mean it, nah it really wasn't but it was you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I want to taste that yeah you know what I'm saying and, and, but you know um, cause it, it, it got to the point where we I was almost in flower yeah you know what I'm saying? So you know you didn't put two two and a half months in oh, into yeah. a plant, yeah, right? And this yeah. particular plant was uh, um, Blue Dream, uh, and Blue Dream is a tall plant, right? And if you do, okay, so um, what I ended up doing with my last crop, right, it was is I monster cropped them. So yeah. I I took clones when they were in flower Straight. in the first couple of weeks of flower, okay, right, and I cloned them. Got them going, and they do exactly like they say. It is it's monster cropping is that they go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. and so you really have to be uh, training them. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to be on them on a consistent basis. It's not like how when you grow from a seed. You know what I'm saying? That you yeah. can. It's an easy training. Yeah, uh, well, I would consider magic. it's easier training to do it from a seed than it is from that okay. clone, right. right? And then uh, so. It was eating good. I ain't lying to you. It was eating good, and she was just shooting up, you know. And she had branches on branches on branches, and I'm, and I, I was supposed to be cleaning this up, and I wasn't keeping up with it, right? Right. So she's up here touching the light. Yeah. Oh my. You know what I'm saying? You it's, almost bleached. It. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and it, it didn't take much longer before she was touching the top of my tent, like she didn't gone around the light and. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I was yeah. like, "Hey man, this is, you know, this is just out of control, you know what I'm saying?" And you should have hey, put it in the ground. That's what yeah. you should have Man. I I'm scared to put my my plants outside. I ain't lying to you. Right? And I, man, and and my reason why I'm scared is cuz I don't want to deal with you knew it. You knew what time it was. <laughs> yeah. That six feet would have turned to 13, 13 real right? quick. Right. You know what I'm saying? And hey, man, my backyard shows on a major street, bro. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just wrap some Christmas lights around. Right. Hey, it. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to stick some plastic apples in there, man. <laughs> it's, it a, it's an apple tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, yeah, man, I, I my, my backyard goes to a, a major street. So I, that was kind of like, man, if I ain't got somewhere to hide it for real, for real, it's... It's already it was already over my fence, you know what I'm saying. So, but yeah, man, uh, you know, uh, currently I've been on some trying to figure out uh, how to get better with my situation, right? right. And um, so I'm in a lot of groups on Facebook, um, you know, organic growers, uh, Oklahoma growers, local, um, some international. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some Canadian um, uh, people being grouped, some Nepal, Nepalian, or right. Napoleon, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I've seen a couple of people from Nepal in there. I've seen a couple of people from some Asian countries uh, in some of the other groups. Um, but basically, I'm in these groups just to, you know, 
get knowledge as best I can. Because, you know what I'm saying, what happens is is that, uh, you know, I jumped into this and then I, there's things that I haven't heard of yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, I'll be scanning through every day as I do my usual, you know, social media frenzy, right? And I'll go through those groups and I'll see something new, right? And um, that particular new for me today was uh, the NPRs. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, you know, like I was like, what in the world is this dude talking about, right? So this, uh, it was an argument or a gentleman was saying on, on one of my groups, you know, like uh, some of these dispensaries are, are kicking out these uh, uh, cannabis that that has high NPR, right? And Mutated plants. Yeah, really, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's bad for us, right? And right. So then another guy comes back and it's like, man, you know, that's can't be, you know, you can't prove that. And da-da-da-da-da. So I have no idea what they're really talking about in this situation, right? And so I actually had to go in Google. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey man, ain't it a beautiful thing? Right, Google. but hey man, I ain't lying to you, man. I I, I run across about a thousand things uh, in these things. You know what I'm saying? That I'm learning something new, right? And so, yeah. I got into this situation, and basically, there, this is uh, the manipulation of plants, uh, and and they consider them pesticides, in in a sense. Um, but you'll see them in your nutrients. Right, right, and then, but they also said that there is a form of natural it version is. of this, right? Um, um, are you familiar with this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Enlighten me, brother. Tell me what you what you know, because I, you know, I, I'll spit what I know, but you know, it ain't much. I, All right. Well, you you know, I I'm, I'm on my health kick tip, right? We both. <laughs> Right. Kicking knowledge on, you know, the best ways we can enhance our body during holistic healing. So that's just like an athlete who wants to gain an edge. Yeah. Who wants to look aesthetic and have that bulky look to where you would think they're super strong. Right. Or you would think that. Oh, he's a he's a baller. He's a player. Why? Is because he's on steroids, and that's all that is. It's just a uh, another acronym for plant steroids. So me, I told you I don't want to put nothing in in in, in any of my tree that you have to crack a bottle on unless it's water, you know. And, <laughs> and just to clarify, we're talking about some uh, plant. The plant growth regulators. Exactly. Right. So so everybody else out there knows what we're talking about. <laughs> Jumping the gun, man. See, hey, hey. It's, it's that organic hey. man, that, that didn't guide me. Yeah, uh, no worries, no worries, man. Hey, but, you know, I'm going to keep us up on pace, man. But uh, you, you're on pace with the idea that this – so this is a steroid. Uh, and, and really, um, the article and, and the stuff that I was reading was really along these lines, right, is trying to get the aesthetics of – the uh, cannabis to look exactly. and so, smell. So me, I'm like full blown calisthenics. So yeah. I like muscle ups, pull ups, dips of that nature, right? So yeah. all off the land. The earth is my turf. So I'm gonna get strong off what is God given, right? Yeah. So I wouldn't really want, or you wouldn't really want to put anything that would make you look good but tear you down in the inside, right? So these chemicals that you're putting in your body, you you know, are being absorbed by your cells, you know, so these do have an effect on you over time. So I wouldn't want anything that would hinder my development. I dig know? it. So I would rather sacrifice the aesthetics for the strength. Yeah. Yeah, I need that strong baby. Yeah, I dig it. I man, I hear you. But and that's what they you know, in this particular article that I read, you know what I'm saying, that's what they're saying, right? Is that um the cannabis 
uh, world is going towards that, is trying to get it to, so you start to see it more often, and they're trying to regulate it. And then that's when people of the theory talking about uh, the government is controlling the weed. They're controlling the chemicals that people put in their weed that they think is all organic. So don't think that you see the the bloom boosters or the buzz sweeteners, and you might have that sweet taste, and you might get what you want, right. you know, but in the long run, I wouldn't want anything that would hinder or hurt my sales. I dig it. Shoot, I wouldn't either. I mean, I mean yeah. real talk, like, we had that conversation, man, is about trying to be as healthy as possible, and right now, you know, I, you know, I'm trying to eat as clean as possible. For sure. Right, and, and, and I try to keep this as clean as possible, right? Exactly. Uh, because... Uh, the idea here is that, man, you know, I do this on a regular. So, I, man, I, I do this just as much as I breathe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, really? hey, I love you, mama. <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, hey, if I'm gonna do it, I, I really want to, and I really look at it as medicine. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, so, for sure. uh, and then. In a lot of terms, right, is in the healing of my body, my my mind, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Great um, for meditation, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I'm trying to mentally get to a space, you know, where I can open up and really fine-tune and get in tune with my mental and spiritual. So meditation and plant-based therapy goes hand-in-hand. Hand. <laughs> With what I do early in the AM, you know, I'll play some old meditation music on YouTube or something, you know. Yeah. Go stand out in the yard barefooted, get rooted, you know, feel that good energy. <laughs> I might I might blow before, but once I sit down, relax, I'll make sure I fire up before yeah. I get into any engagement with any client. That's what's up. Right up. Man, now, I, I do a form of meditation. Uh, like, I used to do a morning meditation back in the day, man, right? Uh, but I don't do I do not do it now mm -hmm. so much, right? I, I just kind of get out of bed and run, you know what I'm saying, for the most part. But what I do is uh, um, when I get solo moments, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, I'll do that. I'll get my little meditation on, right? Is I'll try to get that that uh that centering that's of myself uh just trying to, you know, uh focus on trying to get the best out of me. Right. Right? Cuz um you know, I might be trying to get a new client to come sit down with me. Right? Um I might be trying to figure out how we're going to do the, the you know uh a meeting with with Nav on his crazy schedule. I been, or uh, I might be trying to figure out how to um you know new ideas for the top 5 or whatever else that's going on in here, right? And um I think the best way to get that done is to try to give me the best or be the best me, right? And so right. that might that takes centering yourself Consistently, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're not doing it regularly, then you kind of rear off, right? You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know, you as you, much as you, you think you start falling back off into the matrix, right? You, as much as you think you are going that straight path, right? You know what I'm saying? You're rear, you know, rearing off a little bit, right? You know what I'm saying? If you don't keep that consistency, but so that I do, and I try to get that rolling. Um, but while we're talking about that, I, I got something I wanted to show off real quick, man. So let's uh, see if we can get my man up for the uh, cipher. Oh, yeah, this is my name is DJ Nabby. This is something I'm proud of. This is the Mike Depp Cypher. Here we go. Uh, Doe told me that I'm top five I'm from the gut like Jolly Ranchers and high fries I'm thunder up like I'm CP3 I blow the best finish, make a nigga C3D like Bruce Leroy You can see me chi, I glow heavy like old Chevy That BCDs, I eat them feed What's on the menu? I got a couple styles on the mic that I can lend you Probably couldn't give you the soul cause it ain't in you Your whole crew stuck on the gas trying to defend dude 
but no time for a faker. I'm everything you want to be on God as my maker. If don't nobody spit it, then they sent you a savior. And I can't even lie, but my click do it major. Wrap a couple up and send them straight through the air. Now I own a barber shop, getting money off the hair. Prayer. Amen. Uh, thinking of a master plan. Write a bunch of cool rhymes where I could use my hand Talking in the kitchen with it, cooking, flicking my wrist A gun so big, you got a hole like this But who knows, see how I do those, the coupe too though Been dope since my cousin Killer did judo Since vanilla ice with ice, ice baby too cold This would be a perfect time for me to light a pre-roll I'm gonna pull up, that big mow up Hey, don't get jerked like Sonny You see what niggas did for the money It be your own kind to pull that tripe shit So try Jesus, don't try me, I fight shit Hold it like a nine to five it's my job to get money till I die. I'm talking gold BBS flow, shimmering shit. You stupid dope moves, nigga, clock in the grip. Too cool. Happy birthday, Nipsey. Yeah, let's go. Hey, look, face it on a beat, you a makeup artist. I beat your face, that's a makeup artist. This is Soul City's finest, half native, half essay. Word of Magic Johnson, I've been sick for decades. Then one of these rappers start acting swole. I've turned Castle Bowl into whack mode if you ask them whole. Yeah, I said it, tired of being humble. Let's get every rapper, line them up, and start a royal rumble. The rap juggernaut, slash juggernaut, smash up a cup. Free my brother Bass, what the fuck? I'm paid now, your rap's pussy from the waist down Fallen civil rights statues, I done came down Crack a jaw, half a jaw ain't even half as raw Long ring shooters, and they don't play basketball It's light work since 16, I can spit 16 16s like M16s, bitch please Check it My name is DJ Navi This is the Mike Dem Cypher Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That was my, that was something I wanted to show off real quick, man. We were real proud of that situation, real quick. Hey, shout out to Embray, my my man. Hey, shout out to School. Hey, he was going hard. Yeah, hey. yeah we got some <laughs> choppers. Hey out man, here, hey, man. hey, um, city out here rolling. Man, my man Nemesis. Yeah, <laughs> right. Hey man. <laughs> Hey, heat. Yeah, there was some heat there, man. So we was real proud of that. Hey, shout out to Nav for putting that together. Hey, man, we're working on another one. Yeah. Hey, know that that's in the works out here, man. So, you know, we're going to try to get that popping and believe that. Man, I just... I'm going to bring some dogs. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, I got, I got, yeah. I got hey, two please, dogs, man. Please, 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 please. bring them. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, what you up, are, Eddie Brosco? No one. Hey, I just shout out, folks. Hey, I wanted to shout out, man, my family out there in the VA, other clan. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Woodhouse is out there. What up? I hope y'all paying attention out there. I know y'all been on it. But anyways, man, you know your boy's doing what he do. I'm back out here, man, with my man Ike. Yo, yo. From, yo, from Gains by Skains. For and sure. we've just been chopping it up about uh, our lovely, you know what I'm saying, enthusiasm for... The cannabis. cannabis yeah, I'm looking for that lighter. Oh, here, here oh, you go, bro. I mean, making me feel real high, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> looking for this thing like this. Hey, man. <laughs> when we went to break, <laughs> this GDP, <laughs> god dang it. Hey, look, man. Say, man. Hey, you know, um, so, hey, look, look. Now I'm proud of this one, right? Because this is this is the second time I put it out here, right? Uh, this so the second time I grew up, right? Is what I'm saying. Is uh, and the first, my first crop, man. You know, I had two plants. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew uh, Northern Lights and uh, Bruce Banner, and I liked them both, right. right? But I didn't think that they were what they were, yeah. right? But everywhere I took them, you know what I'm saying, people was like, yeah, oh, yeah. You got How's that man. feel? Yeah, it feels good, man. <laughs> but at, at the same time, I'm still looking at them like, man, nah, that's not it. That's not it. Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, an artist. Like, yeah. You know? Hey, so when I came back with the second round, right, that was the one I said, all right, yeah, this is it. Yeah. Yeah, so I made sure, you know. Hey, I was folks just be they they pick their head up. They they'll pick a you know they'll just they'll be in a circle. You know they'll be in a cipher. You know mm -hmm. catch a blunt, hit that bitch up, and you know, hey, who? What's this? 
What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I know you had that done for you, man. Oh, for sure. Man, I gr- first time I grew weed, man, I grew we- uh, good weed on accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Shout out Mary Vaden, man. She was the green thumb in the family, R.I.P., man. But I guess I got that trait from her, but she always had plants around the house. Yeah. And Pops back in the day grew it. When, and, and I guess I'm not new to it. You know, it's just in my bloodstream. But the first time I actually really got down and passed it around, I really held it down on my side of town. Yeah. Straight up. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> I've been in the marijuana for a good minute, right? <coughs> Indeed. And uh, I played on a couple different continents with it. Okay. Right? And uh, one of the things that uh, I've been searching for is that uh, that Astrodan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what I mean by that is like, um, so, you know, I, I went out of Amsterdam back in, you know, 2002. You know, I was roaming through Europe. That's when I graduated. Yeah. Um, Shout out Eastside. Vikings. <laughs> yeah. We I was uh, talent. I was roaming Europe around this time from two thousand two to two thousand four. Uh-huh. And uh, you know, I made a stop at Amsterdam. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know, being the high you know what I'm saying, being a young man, you know what I'm saying, and just like in weed at the time, you know what I'm saying? I was just hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? I was going from one shop to the next I knew their laws real fast you know what I'm saying they put us down for real for real right. you know how much you can carry you know how much they'll sell you from one store to the next for a day so on and so forth um, and they're they're pretty relaxed you know what I'm saying in this situation but they have some fire and I mean, I I say fire, but this is the real the first time that I really was like deeply trying to taste my cannabis. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like before, you know, I was like, yeah, this was good. That tasted good. Or sometimes I run across something, I'd be like, hey man, I'm trying to chase that down. Where you find that at? Right. But uh, at this point in time, I'm really tasting my cannabis, right? Because everything that I'm picking up has so much different, so much more louder, so much more intriguing situation, right? <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Like, it was crazy, yeah. right? So um, this was like the beginning of my education and the idea of cannabis, right? And and what I know it now, right? right? Because at, at that time point in time, I was just a smoker. And I was just, you know, stoner. Straight up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, you know. I mean, I would like to get some good shit, and I would try to find it, but, man, I wasn't so, but I got uh, spoiled there. I ain't going to lie to you. I got spoiled because I came back to the States, right, and I couldn't find that. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Sticks and seeds. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Indeed. Got a big bag of swag. So I say all that now, man, to say this, man, or or to ask you this. um, You know, how do you feel about the, you know, marijuana now being a situation for Oklahoma and and across the country, you know, you know, when it first became law and, you know, and good about that. You know what I'm saying? How were you feeling? Man, a relief. Were you in tune with the what was going on in the government about it and, you know, the the 788? Yeah, because, you know, I I had a case behind that. I caught a case in college. Mm. You know, that's what really got got everything rolling. Got it got me kicked off the squad. Yeah. Coach told me he wasn't messing with me. You know, all behind this plan. I didn't took a lot of risk behind this. You know, I didn't had a couple of kin folk. He didn't did a couple of years behind it off in Texas. Yeah. You know, behind this plan. But <clears throat> as as the internet was developing, you find more research on the medical aspects of Marijuana or the cannabis. I don't want to demonize it because it was a word given a long time ago to try to manipulate the urban culture to make it seem seem like we're demons. Right. And we're nothing like that. We're gods. We're kings. You know. And this this is a part of uh, God's creation 
this is some medicine that was given to <laughs> us and we're we have the technology to find out you know what the cannabis plant does far as healing cancer far as uh anxiety issues far as um people with seizures and things of that nature so once you find out all this and you've been partaking with it <laughs> at the same time you know you become intrigued by it right. so you do I was so engulfed off in it that day in and day out you know I'm always a, a lightweight nerd you know but right. I was just good at ath- ath- at athletics right so <laughs> if I want to find out about something I'm going to read upon it so if I if someone was to ask or they want to question what I do I'd be able to load a clip and give them some ammunition oh yeah 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 man that, that okay so that's been you know for been smoking as long as I have that's been always one of the day one things I've already you know what I'm saying like when they came at me with, about marijuana or why are you smoking or whatever you know what I'm saying bro my daddy gave it to me at 13 straight up <laughs> so who's gonna tell me no, no. right okay my man, daddy my- you know what I'm saying? The, my the, pops have smoked up my whole life, man, but I didn't know until, you know what I'm saying, that I was a, almost an adult. Yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was almost an adult before I really knew that he Moms smoked. tried to hide it, but daddy provided. Yeah. You know, but a young man is really going to pay attention to an older father figure. So, you know, when in Rome. Yeah. I dig it. And then I end up liking it. Right. And then, you know. One thing led to another, and shit, shoot, here I am. Right, right, right. Man, on the on the subject of demonizing it, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we had the the uh, uh, we talked about the article right. with about uh, cannabis or or about marijuana, the word marijuana, the where the origins of marijuana and where it came from. Because, like I told you, I was like, man, uh, you know, we was in a couple shows, and I had a I had a couple folks in there hit me, man, like, nah, man, that's not, you should say cannabis. Straight up. Right? And I was like, yeah, all right, well, I'm with it. And I'm, and I, I understand, but I wanted to know the details, right? So I just kind of wanted to, so I went Google some more shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And wanted to find out. I mean, I knew kind of what was happening on that situation um, in the acts and uh, the timeline of people that was pushing it straight up right you know what I'm saying especially if you you know like if you've been in marijuana as long as I've been in marijuana like <laughs> like hey. 37 yeah oh, okay so 13 yeah. y'all do the math yeah you know but hey man, that's neither so, here nor there yeah man I mean I'm not that, trying that's to glorify it yeah no 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 not not at all but you know you tr- you learn some things along the way right right because right. uh, I mean uh, I can't imagine in I, I tell people that our, our culture is a little bit different. You know, the marijuana culture is a little bit different than most cultures because it's not it's uh it's it's more um friendlier, more loving, more um accepting. Right. You know what I'm saying, situation. So it's easy to learn some new information in that world, right? Because all you have to do is say, Man, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? And they'll be like, Oh yeah, man, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, and you know, I'm not a real big dad person, but, bro, hey, I had, I told that to one time to Larry. Hey. That shit's <laughs> intense, yeah. man. I told that one time to Larry and uh, and um, uh, Bean Hooligan, man. Hey, shout out to Larry Reed, man. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Bean. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they hey, they sat me down and, and schooled me, right? Yeah. Man, I got high as hell too. Is why I get it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I still stick to my flower. It's not, it was a thing to the nature, man. Yeah, but it was a nice. It was a nice education. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it wasn't. You know, uh, uh, it wasn't a bad education, and I didn't have to. You know, force that on it. Hey, man, I don't know, man. Tell, could you tell me? Yeah, shit, hell yeah, no worries. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And I think that's kind of a universal situation in this culture, right? Is that. Um, we are more accepting and more willing to share that type of information because we're all trying to be on that same level. At least I, that's my thought process, right? Yeah. Um, but believe it or not, you know, 
Somebody could be shooting it down right now as I say it. <laughs> nah, man, we're going to manifest it into reality. But, man. hey, look, man, I, I ain't going to lie. Hey, Jaren, you cannot have mine blunt, man. Hey, look here. I'm, I'm going to hit you up, homie. And shout out to Jaren Garcia. That's my homeboy. That's my best friend right there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 Let me see, man. I, I got one more video I wanted to show real quick. Hey, hey, can you set that up for me, please? Uh, Mr. Wright, come here. Oh, Ken Pop? Yeah. Hey, now. Shout yeah. out D. Wright. Hey, Music um, Life. Hey, I had a little something here, man. I, look, this is nice thing about knowing some folks, right? Is that they know some right. folks. And we were sitting here talking about my man's video before the show. Oh, and yeah. He, and, I, and I was like, hey, man, I needed something to, you know, for a break. And uh, he was like, oh, yeah, let me get Kenfolk on the phone real quick. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, word? Let's need do to this. need him up here. Yeah. Oh, man. Straight up. Hey, look, man, I'm trying to get his video in the top five video countdown, so please, hey, submit it. We would love to see it there, man. d right, get on your job, yeah. baby. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, man. Hey, shout out to d right. I can't sit still cause I'm always in motion The pain I can't feel, how I deal with emotions Tears a nigga spilled, I can feel up an ocean But I'm trying to heal so my wheels keep on rolling I said I can't sit still cause I'm always in motion The pain I can't feel, how I deal with emotions And tears a nigga spilled, I can feel up an ocean But I'm trying to heal so my wheels keep on rolling You think you ahead of me, huh? Well you don't compare to me, bruh You ain't even on, ain't even cold I'ma just let it be, bruh Back on my shit and you better keep up I'm on your ass, you better speed up I'm about to gas up my enemies up Put out that trash on some better weed up Think about all the shit I done been through Thought I done been through But I know that I'm riding with God and it cool So I can recruit I rock with my niggas, they rock for me too Yeah, they rock me the crew Yeah, yeah A lot of my place, so I need to do what I need to do Yeah, so I can't sit still Cause I'm always in motion And pain I can't feel How I deal with emotions The tears the niggas spilled I can feel up an ocean But I'm trying to heal So my wheels keep on rolling I can't sit still Cause I'm always in motion Pain I can't feel how I deal with emotions It tears a nigga spilled I can feel up an ocean But I'm trying to heal So my wheels keep on rolling I can't sit still Cause the black don't stop When you get it How you live Bet the guap more hot I can't wait on nobody Cause a nigga gotta eat And I got some mouths to feed Had to get up on my feet If a nigga wanna feed I'ma have to charge a fee You wasn't fucking with me This whole time I been free Unless you own a family tree That's just how I gotta be Shout out my big bro Dad's Vine on the beat Nigga make you break your neck, so you better pay respect uh, Them niggas from my hood is gonna extort you out your check uh, And we don't get no further back them taxes on your neck no. Let's love that I come from and put them gas up on your flesh That's why I can't sit still, cause I'm always in motion Pain I can't feel, how I deal with emotions And tears a nigga spilled, I can feel up an ocean But I'm trying to heal, so my wheels keep on rolling I can't sit still, cause I'm always in motion Always in motion the pain I can't feel, how I deal with emotion. That's how I deal with emotion. The tears a nigga spill, I can feel like the ocean. But shit, I'm trying to heal, so my wheels keep on rolling. Keep on rolling, yeah. Are uh, we back here at the mic'd up multicast? The cannabis corner is going hard tonight. Hey man, we want to give a big shout out to D Wright. Man, we love yeah. your video. Hey man, this shit was hot. Dope, Kenfo. Yeah, that's what's hey, up. Shout out Desvon, the producer. You know, shout out, shout hey. out Kendra, they mama. Hey man, I just wanted to say I appreciate you like, coming down and hanging out with your boy for the evening. Oh man, <laughs> hey man, this is what we do. We do this off camera too. Yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah. That's, 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 that's why I'm able to talk my stuff. Man, yeah, and be able to move a groove like I can do. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 man. Hey, Christian, I appreciate you. 
already. Hey, man, how you doing back there? You all right? Oh, you know, I'm just hey. ready for my next dab. You know what I'm saying? Hey, all right, hold on. No! Now. Hey, here's some of this granddaddy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to make sure you have some of that, man. Hey, I wanted to make sure I want to show some love out there to our fans and those, those that keep on showing up out here. Oh, for sure. Hey. Shout out my kids. I know they're watching. Hey, Shout man. out Kayla, hey. Janae. All Shout y'all that Rashid. keep on coming back every week and checking in with us, man. We appreciate you. p Vales, you know what it is. Hey. Hey, I see you, Tony, in there. Actually, that's Nemesis real quick sliding in under the Tony T. Y'all say what up to him. Hey. Man, but <laughs> and, you know, there's a lot of folks that come back and see us every week, and we, we appreciate that, man. You know, uh, this this isn't easy, man, and we're trying to make something out here. This so, is dope. yeah, man. So, hey, man, y'all y'all gonna make it, man. Oh, man, you know, you know we believe in us, man. <laughs> so believe that, this regardless if anybody else does, man. You know, that's what up. Hey, man, I enjoyed it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me, man. Blessings, appreciate it, man. Hey man, I am AM the Outcast. That is Ike. <laughs> yes, indeed. Gains by Skeins. Gains by Skeins. And that's my man Christian in the back ha- holding us down. And this was the Mic'd Up Multicast, Cannabis Corner. And we're out.